Hello, hello, hello. I'm just on a th- I'm just doing this article because I thought it was kind of funny because I remember seeing uh, articles online about this. So I want to dispel a myth. So uh, here we go. People are always asking me, why am I so angry? The reason is because the country that I love is destroying itself from within. That's why I am. The angry conservative. Hello, hello, hello. Hope everyone's having a fun-filled day. And uh, I'm not going to do This is the only one I'm doing here on Sunday. But I thought I would give you one that is quite interesting. <laughs> because the original story took place in 1999. So over 20 years ago. Let's see what this what this article says. Alabama recants claims about cop involvement in 99 killing in 1999 killings. A woman whose claims about police being involved in the decades-old killings of two Alabama teens found dead in a car trunk fueled a social media frenzy several years ago. Now she what now says she was lying the whole time. Rena Crum, 53, recanted her allegations Thursday as she testified during a hearing for an Alabama trucker awaiting trial on capital murder charges in the slayings of J.B. Beasley and Tracy Howlett, WTVY-TV reported. The victims were both 17 when they were shot down in South southeast Alabama and left in the trunk of the car in 1999. The fence hoped Crumb's testimony about police wrongdoing could help clear their client, but after reportedly saying she didn't rec- recall certain things, Crumb blurted out, I lied. Curly McCranny, 48, was arrested in the killings in 2019 or about four years after a blogger in Southeast Alabama reported Crumb's claims that police higher-ups had covered up an officer's 
involvement in the slayings. Uh, allegations blew up on true crime websites and social media, leading to the defamation lawsuit against Crumb and others that were dismissed in 2018 after the blogger filed for bankruptcy. Authorities said Authorities have said DNA evidence led to the arrest of McCreaney, who has pled not guilty in the slayings to a, and to a charge that he raped one of the victims. McCreaney's defense asked a judge to let them present evidence that someone else killed the two, leading to the hearing in which Crom, under questioning, said she hadn't told the truth. The officer who Crom had accused took the stand and denied his involvement, as did an investigator who questioned Crum earlier this year. Defense attorney David Harrison suggested that Crum was certain to change her story. Crum, a one-time volunteer for the Ozark Police Department, did not respond to a Facebook message sent Friday seeing co- seeking comment. Crum received a suspended sentence and a $250 Fine in 2016 after being convicted for harassment, a sister of Beasley, Jackie Bergeron record show. Dale County Court Judge William Fillmore didn't re- immediately rule on the testimony jurors would be allowed to hear at McSweeney's trial set to begin August 15th. Defense lawyers asked the judge to prevent jurors from considering any evidence collected from the car where the bodies were discovered, saying that the car has been cr- crushed and is no longer available, preventing them from expecting it. Kind of funny, isn't it? That this happens, and then the truth comes out. The truth always comes out. I just think it's funny that when she's on the stand... When they are pressed to be on that stand and testify under oath, things are a little different. Things are a little different when, but let me know. This is the only story I'm doing here on Sunday. Let me know. Was, if you heard about this story and if you remember it, but this is why. There's a saying that goes, a lie will make it halfway around the world before the truth even get steps out the door. So, let me know. Do you think she was coerced? Or do you think she actually told the truth on that stand? Let me know. Put it down in the comments down below. I hope everyone has a blessed Sunday, and I will see you on the next one. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming